knock and it shall be opened unto you. Seek and you shall find. Pray and the Lord will answer. Come with a good intention and that is on period. Hello everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. It's your favorite baby girl Zoz and Nita on the microphone. If you're new to my channel, I'll appreciate you. To my returning subscribers, thank you so, so much. See, we need to pray for KBAC. On a more serious note, we need to pray because a lot of things are going on. And when people from outside begin to see things, not even from a blogger's perspective, but from a prophet, a seer. I don't know if all of you know um, Bright the Seer, and that is a picture you're seeing right there. Bright the Seer, she has predicted so many things that have come to pass, but at the end of the day, she will say, if you pray, it will not come to pass. So she dropped a prophecy yesterday, Sunday, around um, 6, 7 p.m., Yes, and I saw the prophecy. And she said that, according to her, that a very prominent, the biggest, the richest, the most populous and king in Africa is going to be with the Lord. And a lot of people in the comment section were like, who is, who is the most populous king? Who is the most trending king? Who is the most richest king in Nigeria? It's Nigeria, she said. And everybody was saying that it's only, it's only, it's only. But me, I was there typing, God forbid, God forbid, God forbid, God forbid. KBS is not going to pie in the mighty name of Jesus. KBS is not going to pie in the mighty name of Jesus. I don't know if you guys understand. So, you people know that anything happened to KBS in a God forbid, the crown automatically passes to the next family which we are not saying is a sin but kbsc will not god forbid i don't even want to think it god forbid god forbid god forbid so the reason why i'm doing this video is for us to pray it's for us to pray and also kbsc needs to pray since me i've gone to his in i've gone to his uh, kbsc's whatsapp uh, say whatsapp instagram page i have tagged him to the to the prophecy because a lot of people are calling his name like he is the one he's the one you need to be careful so i'm even praying that it should come to pass and i'm like i was rebooking them if you see me i was quarreling with them on the social media space because why will you want that all one thing we should know is that if the bible said this thing is going to happen and he has reviewed it is for us to pray against it is for us to pray so that this thing will not come to pass so right now for me in your little way pray because a lot of when I was saying in the comment section that some people should pray, some people came and were attacking me. They were like, Why should you pray? Him that he has enjoyed his wife, he has six wives. How many wives did he have? So, you know, like, typical Nigerian, the way they think. But I was telling them, No, that for the fact that God has revealed it, it means that it will not come to pass. You understand? It means that God wants something. Maybe God wants, her to, God wants him to change or something. But right now, with the kind of things we have here in the palace, with the kind of things those women have done on this king, God forbid, our king is not going to be with the Lord in the mighty name of Jesus. Every plan of the enemies is scattered in the mighty name of Jesus. Like, like who does that? Who does that? Ah, ah, my brothers, my sisters. My brothers, my sisters. My brothers, my sisters. Hey. Yes, so the God, the Lord of Isaac, the God of Abraham, I even have to go as far as tagging Queen Naomi. Please, you have to pray for KBAC. No matter what KBAC have done, remove it. See, there's something they call discernment. Discernment. There's something they call discernment. So Naomi have to pray for a descending spirit. Please, let her not be angry with KBAC again. This is the time for us to pray. This is the time for the church to pray. This is the time for Christians to pray. This is the time for even the Oloris to pray. This is not the time to have anybody in mind. This is not the time to have any bitterness. This is the time for just pure prayers. Because why? The kingdom of heaven will go down. Nothing will happen to KBAC in the mighty name of Jesus. See, yesterday I could not sleep throughout the night. If you guys noticed, I didn't even upload video yesterday night again because I was just thinking over this prophecy that why is the devil trying to ruin a happy life why is the devil trying so hard but one thing i will say and i will continue to say again we are even happy that that prophecy come at please the lady's name is bright the seer she is on instagram she is on youtube Maybe she's on Facebook, I don't know, but that is the two places I see her. And it's people's comments were like, it's KBAC. I said, no, it's not KBAC. I remember this lady have said something about, she said something about very dark man before they actually arrested very dark man. She said something about Junior Pooh. She said something about Destiny Tiku. She have said something about a lot of things in Nigeria that have come to pass. Those of you that know her, you know her. For me to bring this story right here, for me to bring this a prophecy right here, it means a lot to us. Nothing... 
So my people, she have said a lot of things and a lot for a lot of people that have come to pass. So right now, I don't want us to dwell what I, whether it has come to pass or not. What I want us to do as a family member is, please take even this one minute of your time and pray for him today. It will go a long time because why? We don't want to hear a story that touches the hearts. God forbid. This wedding that we are planning this month like this. Hey, hey. I don't want to hear shoot bed, mama fly you. This wedding. Papa, this only that is giving us joy. The enemies will not be happy over this. The enemies, they will not be happy, but they don't have any choice, you understand? Every negative contrasts against KBAC back to fire. Every, even bad dream will not come. We cancel every negative prophecy in the mighty name of Jesus because make it make sense. Make it make sense that they will not see fine prophecy for our fine boy. Ah, uh, uh, no now. See, I'm angry in my spirit this morning. So this today is only prayer, prayer. I will be praying for KBSU. Ah, ah. Please, even if it's one minute of your time, imagine if, if all of us pray one one minute prayer for him, how it will go. It will go a long way. Please, let's do that and God will bless you too. In your own time of need, God will send somebody to come and stand in the gap for you. You know that already now. Okay, guys. See you guys later. Don't forget to pray. Bye for now.